Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another video. Right now I am on my way to the San Clemente outlet for the weekly calls and coffees meetup. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good show. Uh, the sun is coming out, a little overcast right now, but uh, it's not raining, so I'm expecting, I'm expecting a lot of cars. So let's go check it out. This is the uh, Tesla supercharging station that I normally charge up the car here, but uh, my car is fully charged right now, so I'm not going to. Instead, I am going to be in the Cars and Coffee show. All right. The show starts at 9 and runs to 11 o'clock. And uh, well, right now, I guess we're at 8.50 right now, so 10 minutes early. So cars are still coming in. And, but by, the, by 11 o'clock, this end of the lot will be completely full. So generally how it works is they will fill out uh, the front over there, way over there, they will, and then they just start filling up this lot. And as this gets bigger, there's a spill-off lot down there, and oh, there's an there's a overflow lot over, way on that side, and a spill-off lot down, there, down over there and downstairs as well. So, yeah. During the uh, summer months, where it's really sunny and gets busy and a lot of cars come out, there'll be as much as 800 or more cars here pretty crazy. It's the uh, the biggest cars and coffee in the world. So here's that uh, the Targa Porsche. It's, it's quite unique. Uh, there's so many motors to make that uh, to make that Targa top work. It's, uh, it's, it's actually an interesting piece of engineering. And we have a Speedster. Nice vintage convertible Corvette with that with that beautiful dog. Very, very well trained. How you doing, girl? It's a great big shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, nothing separates you from the owner and, and this Corvette, right? Yeah, good dog. Uh, more cars coming in, another vintage Corvette. Uh, that's nice. Convertible Camaro with a supercharged V8. Yeah, the LSA motor. This is this motor has a bit of space for me to, sh to, to show off the stuff. You can see the uh, that's the air intake right there, the air filter. Going to the supercharger, the supercharger belt right here, and a nice big cross member to race the truck towers. Right hand drive GTR. Yeah. Nice. And California. Oh, yeah. Imported. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm talking. This is nice. Uh, that's an exhaust pipe. <laughs> uh, there's my Tesla Model X. I'm parked next to uh, a Subaru. And as I walk by it, the, uh, the lights came on, the doors unlocked. But once I walk away, it'll lock up again. This is the earliest I've ever been here. And it's kind of neat to see all the cars come in and find, trying to find parking spots. It's like almost like jockeying for the best spot. But all the best spots are, you know, are the front. Porsche GT3. Uh, vintage Porsche, wow. Check that out. GT3 RS right here, purple. Are you flying purple people eater? He's got the uh, silver seat belt option and also the four point harness option. There's a nice roll bar in there. Porsche Turbo Convertible. I believe this is a 997. Yeah, 997. 
Porsche 924 there. There's something you won't see Monday to Friday. This is a Ferrari Dino. It's a six cylinder. It was named after Enzo Ferrari's son. And it wasn't accepted by the Ferrari community for a long, long time. But uh, now they're, they're worth like $300,000. You know, only a couple, maybe a couple of decades ago, you could buy them for like 20 grand or less. Okay, now we're talking. Ha ha ha, check this out. <laughs> Rolls Royce ghosts. Yeah, the Spirit SSC will automatically come out here and, you know, when it's parked, make sure people don't seal it. It disappears under the, uh, the bonnet. It's got huge wheels. The suicide door. I see the privacy curtains right there. Yeah. Aftermarket wheels. They're normally normal Rolls Royces. The, this symbol is always vertical. This one rotates. Yeah. BMW i3. This is a, basically it's a it's a hybrid. It's an electric three-cylinder motor. Uh, yeah, BMW is gonna the next version. The rumor is is gonna be all electric, which will be good because this one did not sell very well. First generation Acura NSX. Yeah, they, these these are nice. These are nice. Convertible Audi, uh, GT4, with a tow hook. Gotta love that. Zapper 302 Camaro. Nice baby. Nice car. Wow, check out that dog. Dogs are welcome at Cars and Coffee because this mall is pet friendly. Hello, girl. Oh, wow, look at you. Wow, that's a big puppy. Start them young, I say. Start them young. Yes. It's, see, it has autopilot. It's got autopilot, I can tell. They stole the technology from Tesla. You're not going to find a space this close to the front. You know, but, uh, but keep trying, keep trying. You might get one. Sun is starting to come out loud. It's uh, getting quite hot. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to take off my jacket soon. Oh, bunch of Corvettes. Yeah, convertible Corvettes. 427 convertible Corvette. This one is pretty rare, this red one here. More cars still coming in. That's neat. That's a big guy in a small car. Oh my. Now that's what I call a Corvette display, you know, we're complete with the American flag. Love it. It's Memorial Day, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Top of the line ZL1 Corvette, 755 horsepower. Uh, Corvette's answer to the Porsche GT2 RS. Uh, Porsche 997 Turbo by BBI Motorsport. Let's see if we can get the BBI exhaust on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Check it out. BBI slash cut exhaust. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Two big nozzles jetting out each side. This looks like a regular CLS, but actually it's very, very special because you look at the motor here. Uh, it was the, uh, the regular AMG natural aspirated V8, but it supercharged it. And it's aftermarket supercharged by Rice Tech, which is a, a company based in Irvine, California. So this thing is now pushing, I don't know, six or 700 horsepower. And you would never know it because you know, you're suspecting a regular <laughs> AMG CLS. Speaking of modified supercharged motor, uh, here's a Camaro SS with a, a modified supercharged motor. This is a Whipple supercharger, and he also got the uh, Coway introduction kit. Yeah, this thing is probably pushing 70 horsepower or more as well. But at least, you know, this Camaro looks the part. It's mean and it looks fast. And this is the coolest Corvette of the show. It looks like a vintage old uh, C2 generation Corvette, but 
The running gear is all modern, has an LS4 Corvette motor. It's incredible engine. Wow, yeah. Really? Yeah, we've got three without my. So you know how to get them to work then? Who's doing that? The Lado. Wow. All modern gear, so you can see modern Corvette brakes. Oh shit, he's, he's always got lots of work. He did 130 cars last year. Just of wow, it's like the it's like the mixture of the old world meets the new world. So poor guys like me. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. A BMW SUV with a matte green wrap. Cool. I like it. All right, we are now at Supercar Road, and it is Supercar Road is jam. All right, we got a Maserati convertible, a comma. A comma. This is like a hybrid electric. Cadillac CTS-V, AMG GTS, Porsche GT3, another GT3, and still another GT3. Uh, McLaren 720 with matching 720 for him. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, is it as fast as dad's car? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is this is dad's car. Nice 720S uh, next to a Lamborghini Aventador. F430 Spider, really vintage Porsche GT. Wow, this is cool. Look at this. One exhaust right out the back. It's a 356. Yeah, an old 356. You see, wow. Very nice. Love the love the vintage mirrors and the wiper that you know doesn't really cover the windshield. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work very well. Yeah, this car is all about inconvenience. Not only the wipers don't work, you have to fill up the gas tank by you know reaching for the middle of the car. Cool. Anyway, uh, here's the modern Porsche, the GT3 RS, in a really nice blue color. Yeah, that's really nice. McLaren MP412C, Ferrari 458 Italia Spider, a Shelby Cobra. Is it an original or is it a kit? Let's see. Yeah, judging by the modern engine, it's definitely it's not an original, but it's a, yeah. it's a super performance. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this yeah. is a copy so that actually the makes it. And there's another one okay. in black. Okay. So if you know if you love the gold Cobra and you want more modern running gears, this will this guy will do it for you. Another Maserati, Ford GT, Austin Martin. James Bond's car, basically. And here's the convertible edition. And it's for sale, by the way. See, $98,950. Check out that interior. Wow. Now, this 720 has a matte yellow, I'm gonna assume it's a wrap, because this is, yeah, the factory is not available in that color. It's available in yellow, but not that yellow. And next to here, we have Jay's Ford GT. Uh, there's a, a Lotus. Uh, and, oh, check this out. Here we have a Porsche 918. This is, uh, I guess, one of the Holy Trinity hybrid electric. There's three. There's uh, one uh, natural, one motor, one e one ice motor, and three electric motor. Total 890 horsepower. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's really a piece of work. Magnesium wheel. Those wheels are like a $35 option, and the brakes are just huge. I can't believe the size of those suckers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
This uh, is for plug-in e-power. <laughs> hey, check out that exhaust, top mounted. This thing is insane. Wow. Oops, sorry. sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> kind of make this uh, Ferrari 458 look pedestrian. But uh, anyway, uh, continuing right along. Yeah, uh, here's a 488. This is the uh, update to to this car. Yeah. There you go. Uh, then a 488. Wow. Ferrari day. So, one 488 and identical twin 488. Ferrari 599. And another 488. Wow, it's, it's, uh, it's Rosa Ferrari and, an, and a Porsche 918. Ending off here, we have the Cromel and then Simon's Cromel. You can run them in big. And cars are still coming in. All right, so we have this, yeah, the overflow lot. So I see, yeah, the sign felt the overflow lot now. So let's check out what's here. 458 Italia, another 458 Italia. Hey, uh, wow, it's a, uh, yeah, this Porsche has won the biggest wing at Cars and Coffee. No doubt, this, he's the winner today. Definitely the winner. I mean, uh, yeah, I, there is the uh, GT3 RS, and normally that's a, that has a crazy ass wing, but yeah, he's bigger. He won. And here we have the new Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Yeah, a regular Aventador, but. Check this one out. This is the latest and greatest Lamborghini. It's rumor is it set a new record on the Nurburgring, ring, beating that GT, well, beating the GT2 RS, but yeah. So check out the new active arrow here. So air goes in there, goes up into the wing area, and then it comes out through these little, these little holes right here, these little slots right here. And depending on how you want either less drag or more downforce, it will adjust by basically letting the air here and disrupting the flow and creating less drag or more downforce, depending on what you need. The regular Lamborghini doesn't have that, but the same V12. Oh jeez, talk about hopped up, what is that? Look, look at this, wow, that's nuts. Holy, holy. Uh, be very, very careful of speed bumps, yeah. AMG GTR. So the hood is up, so you can actually see just how far back they push that motor. I mean, it's right against the, uh, the passenger firewall behind the front tire. So it's, it's really a mid-engine car. There's a good look at the turbo, so the hot V setup. Exactly for that. Another McLaren, 675. 675, another Porsche, Lamborghini. Come on, this here we have the Lamborghini section. <laughs> and I'm gonna end it with this thing. What? What? What is this? Tell me. Well, what is this? Huh? This is a 1959 Nash Metropolitan built uh, by the Nash Rambler Company. Wow. 
In the 50s. In the 50s. It's older than me. In wow. 59, yeah. Wow, that's, that is awesome. Look at this. And it's got the classic bench seat. Yeah. yeah. Now, you don't see this anymore. No, you don't. No, you'll you never don't. see a bench seat anymore. That's yeah. a, a, a. And the three on the tree? Yeah. Three on the tree. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Like <laughs> yeah, it is actually has rear seats. It is, but it's more yeah. usable when the top is up. I can imagine. You know, yeah. it's, it's really just for kids or dogs. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, uh, Metropolitan. Yeah, get a Met. <laughs> All right, and on that uh, Met, I think I'm gonna call it a day here at Cars and Coffee. Cars are still coming in, believe it or not. I mean, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm feeling today could be uh, a record day. Uh, I don't know, but uh, like I said, every Saturday, this event happens at the San Clemente outlet from 9 to 11. And if you're a car enthusiast, that doesn't matter what kind of car you like, they have all kinds here, it's exotic cars, supercar, vintage car, uh, metropolitans. Yeah, you, you'll find it here. Yeah, it's a great way to spend a morning, enjoy a cup of coffee, maybe walk your dog, bring your kids. Yeah. I used to come here most weeks because it's a yeah, great event, great event. So do check it out. Okay. Uh, John Chow for JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Okay, I'm done. I am leaving and cars are still coming in. That's pretty insane.